Claims that the COVID vaccine makes you magnetic are attracting big views on the social. Explain to me why the key sticks to me. Surely a vaccine doesn't make you magnetic. Kia ora, everybody. This is a great science experiment, though, because it's all about the science of adhesion. So you may have seen some conspiracy theories out there saying once you've had your vaccine, you become magnetic. There is nothing magnetic within your vaccine, within the ingredients. But if you've ever done that uh, trick where you have the spoon balancing on your nose, you can also do that on your chest or on your arm. What happens is you'll have a little bit of moisture, maybe if you're a little bit sweaty or it's a humid day like it is here in Auckland, and you need friction, which is a sliding force. You push the spoon against your skin and then you let it go and it sticks. I promise you I'm not magnetic. It's just adhesion of the water layer in between the two skin layer and the spoon layer, meaning it can stick to different parts of your body. OK, there are also claims that the vaccination site is metallic with videos showing magnets sticking to people's arms. So why might that be happening? Yeah, exactly the same thing. So I have I have some magnets here and we know that magnets stick to metal. So I have a metal flask and you can see that it will stick. I can also do the same thing where I put some friction against my chest and I can stick it to my chest too. That does not mean I'm magnetic. Same principle as before. It's a principle of adhesion. It's just, And you can do this at home. Take a fridge magnet, just stick it to you. If it doesn't stick well, give it a bit of a lick and then stick it on <laughs> to put a layer in between. You may have seen that before when you cut a potato and a knife together. That that water layer, the starchy layer, means that you can't take the potato off the knife really easily. But um, the, the great thing about the vaccines is the ingredients lists are there for everybody to see. They're not great to read, but basically in the ingredients there are no metals in there, so there's no reason for a magnet to stick to it. Yeah, so what is in the vaccine? I mean, is there any chance there could be something in there that causes things like this to happen? No, there's nothing in there. So you can read the ingredients list. Basically, it's made up of a water carrier. There's some sugar in there. The sugar helps the molecules to stabilize when, during the freezing process. There's some salts in there. You'll see them called sodium chloride, potassium chloride. There are some fats in there. They'll be called lipids or cholesterols. And then there's the active ingredient, which is mRNA. Um, none of those are magnetic. And even if they were, this is amazing. So to be magnetic, you want something like iron oxide. The dose that you get of the vaccine is 0.3 milliliters and we know that iron oxide is not soluble I mean it doesn't dissolve so even if there was something magnetic in there like a, a metal you would need about um, 0 0.000002 um, grams to be able to go into that vaccine before you could start seeing it based on that dose meaning that it's such a tiny amount anyway that it wouldn't stick to anything so even if there was metal in there which there isn't you wouldn't be magnetic